he's so I believe that Vallejo and his wife Rosa were living in a rent stabilized apartment, either didn't know it, and were driven out through fear or paid money by this guy. And they gave us this note saying that we've been told to get you people out and there's nothing to do now, just leave and whatever. And they had already called the police. They had already made a false report claiming that I punched her in the head and the stomach and the whatever and, uh, you know, telling them that we were, you know, dealing drugs or something. I don't know what they told them, but, you know, like a hundred police came to our house and, and broke open the door with Petra in there. I was out at the moment, thank God, and, and you know, arrested Petra and took her and... and and, you know, Vallejo's calling me, oh, come back, come back. I'm like, I can't come back. I'm in court now filing a, a harassment paper against you, you know, and, and so whatever. And then I come back, and it's, it's, you know, they keep turning off the electricity that we had paid them for, and that's illegal, denial of services, and, you know, we had paid them, we had receipts. So you call the city, you call 311. I've been to the police station like five times during this whole thing. They let Petra go. They said, you know, we got to let you go because there's nothing, you're not doing anything wrong. There's nothing to, you know, we can't charge you with anything. You didn't do anything. So they let her go. And she's telling them, you know, how bad these people are and how sick I am. And, uh, you know, uh, anyway, so... That, that, that I talk to the police over and over. I'm down there like five times in a week talking to the police, asking them, what do I do about the situation? How do I deal with it? What's the proper course of action? And they're telling me, call 311. You know, they turn off your power again. Call the police. We'll come and tell them to turn it on. So that's what happens. They turn it off. I, I call the police. The police come. And the woman comes out. She says, he beat me up. He beat me up. And she's got an incident report because she lied to the police. And, and so they arrest me. And so now I'm in jail. You know, under false charges, and I'm going back and forth to court. And, and the thing we found out later was that their plan, now this is, we saw them consulting with some lawyer guy and the super and, and the other, you know, so these are agents of the landlord who have concocted this plan and that the, you know, that they wanted us to both be arrested, both be taken out of here, and both be put in jail for a long time so that they could take all their stuff and throw it away or whatever and, and you know, take their money and go and, and, and he can do whatever he's going to do with his building. Either sell it or fix it up and raise the rent four times. Now, you know, that's, it's just wrong, you know? And this is the kind of stuff that we've dealt with. At every turn, we have tried to be kind and polite and friendly and accommodating and um, uh, what is that? When you compromise and, uh, and we've offered them more money, we've given them more money. So then I'm, uh, you know, I get out of jail and I can't come back because there's an order of protection against me now. So I can't come home for two months. And, you know, I'm living in a storage locker. You've all heard this story. And I'm terrified. And, and you know, I, I, I've got PTSD. And these people are, are traumatizing me over and over. Um, I, I'm calling another lawyer today about a civil suit, a possible civil suit against this whole bunch because you really can the, the pain and suffering from this is is remarkable i've had to increase the dose of medication i'm on you know I have a, a more panic attack it's it's you can see the toll that the stress is taking on me and uh this guy is paying people to get out of here he's paying the people upstairs next to us at least twenty thirty thousand dollars or else they wouldn't be going because I know them. He told me. He said, there's no way I'm leaving this, this rent-stabilized, rent-controlled apartment unless they give my, my aunt this much money and a place to go. So they're moving out. So they must have got what they wanted. The guy downstairs on the first floor has rent-stabilized. He pays $1,000 a month uh, for the whole floor. And they called him and told him there was a new owner who bought the building, and they're offering him $10,000 to get out. Now, whether this is a true story or not, we don't know. Uh, these people have committed uh, harassment, they have uh, denial of services, um, real, uh, partial, actual, actual partial constructive eviction, actual eviction, temporary eviction. You know, we were locked in this little room, no access to a toilet or a sink or a fire escape. 
or a refrigerator, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, they turned off the electricity, so we have nothing. We had to get a generator. They called the, the electricity company the day they turned it off. The people that were there, the Vallejo, whatever, took our money, didn't pay the bill, left like $350 bill. We're talking to Con Edison saying, can we pay the bill and take over the account and keep it on for a little while while we're here trying to find a place to live? And they say, no, we can't because the landlord just called us. Uh, this construction guy, Giramo Construction, which is the company, one of the companies of the landlord, called and said there's nobody living in that apartment and to turn off the power and not to give anybody an account uh, unless I call you. So they write it in the, in the thing, you know, and so we call and they won't turn it on for us because we don't have a, a new lease. You know, we're still, so they, they, they've broken so many laws, it's not even funny. And now they got us in court to evict us. And, you know, these people are turning off the power. Okay, so after they did all this stuff, the fire department, they called the fire department. The fire department came and said, you know, this is a, 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 a problem. What's going on? We said, look, look what this guy has done to us. He's shoved us in here. He locked the doors. He's calling the police. All this stuff to get us out. You know, is there some way you can speak to him? Can you, can you somehow, you know, anyway, I asked the, the fireman, you know, can you please allow us access to the toilet, to the bathroom, and the fire escape? Uh, and they're like, well, this is a violation. you got this, this thing here in front of the door. I said, no problem. We'll move it right now. Open the door. We'll move this crap. Right. So I move the fucking shit. I'm like, man, man, they break open the door. I guess the, the guy said, fine, whatever, let them, you know, because I, I imagine that the fire department told him, look, guy, you're breaking the law. You know, these people can can do something against you or whatever. I don't know. So then they were nice for a couple of months. You know, he'd come to the door and he'd bang on the door. Oh, you find a place yet? Oh, you gotta get out of here. I'm gonna, the marshal's gonna come. You know, you're gonna go to court soon. We're gonna get you out of here. You're gonna put you in the street screaming and yelling at us. And, you know, I'm not responding well to screaming and yelling with PTSD. I'm like, getting away. You know, I don't wanna. So, uh, I don't know what these people are gonna do next. You know, they've already done all this crazy shit. So then they leave us be for a little while. They, they give us some electricity. They, they, you know, let us, but then they turn it off, and then that, that's it, no more, blah, 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 you know, so now we're in court, and, uh, you know, that they, they're torturing, it's horrible, so, you know, we're desperately looking for a place, I, I've been looking for a place for months, you know, you've seen these videos of me running around, calling people, and asking over, and this neighborhood is changing, and it's becoming more difficult, and they want more money, and, and, you know, it's getting harder and harder, and sicker and sicker. And this is just, you know, you can see why I'm terrified. You can see why I'm freaked out, you know. We got people messing with us, our, our peaceable enjoyment, our, our right to, to attempt to heal from the, the traumatic experiences of our lives. You know, it's... We're not asking for much. You know, this guy has a right to sell his building or, or raise the rent or change. He has a right to do whatever he wants. But the way that they went about doing this was really, really wrong. Uh, you know, now they're claiming that we're squatters. We're not squatters. We're under tenants in a holdover. Okay? And, uh, you know, we have our counterclaims and we got to try to put them in. And it's, it's, you know, I don't know. This whole thing is a nightmare. I haven't been able to find an attorney. I can barely get out of bed. I, I can't even think. So uh, let me shut this off. Stop this 23 minutes of babbling. There's probably a hundred thousand other details of this story that that I'm not telling you. But you know, uh, we had to get a generator because we couldn't have no power. You know, and what happens if it's time to move and the marshals coming? We got to get the drills and the whatever, take the bed apart. Pack, you know, we need. Anyway, these people weren't nice to us. So. Uh, we've been paying the people next door. We gave them $70 by, and, and they were giving us uh, electricity for a while. But now they're getting ready to move out because this whole thing is coming down soon. You know, this guy's building permit is up soon. He's going to have to get another one. And, you know, and we're like, well, we hope that this whole nightmare didn't cause him to default on his mortgage or anything. I don't think so, you know. But th these people were just... You know, they were really horrible to us. We didn't deserve it. We didn't do anything bad or mean or wrong or illegal or or unethical. You know, we were just 
two people trying to get along and get by, and we didn't do anything bad to these people or illegal. They they did horrible things to us, and and now we have to deal with it in court. Landlord tenant court is one thing. You know, I don't know whether this will go anywhere else. Uh, you know, perhaps I, I don't know. I don't know. We have to see what an attorney will, will say, and I can't afford one. So, anyway, thanks for watching. God bless you all. I hope your lives are a little easier than mine. I know that uh, being a targeted individual, this kind of stuff happens to everybody. They've been chasing us around from place to place to place. There were times we'd move in, and, and the, the next day they came and said, "Sorry, you got to move out." Somebody came and threatened us and said, "You can't be here." And da, 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 you know. This is a, a common thing. It's happened over and over.